It's probably the only garden in the world that is dedicated with, uh, to the Dahlia where it's run entirely by volunteers. And uh, we have 50 volunteers. It's very unique because we have 250 varieties all labeled along uh, pathways and we plant over 3,000. Dahlias are extra special because uh, I call them an exotic flower because they have 19 different petal shapes. Some of you wouldn't even hardly recognize as a dahlia, but they're all dahlias. So we have one representative of all 19. We also have every color except blue, but they don't come in blue anyway. And they come in every size from a one inch blossom up to 14 inches. And they uh, are uh, the plant size from small plants like one foot up to eight feet and I, I call it a very creative flower that it can change itself into so many shapes and colors and everything. We sell the tubers at, at less than wholesale to encourage people to grow them. Our uh, main reason that our, our nonprofit is really to make people addicted to dahlias. A lot of people think they're too labor intensive but uh, you can actually leave them in the ground, let them rot, and freeze, and come back and buy new ones. We have eight terraces uh, that are terraced with uh, stone from the Upper Peninsula, and uh, it's an incredible sight just to be able to uh, get to the top of the only hill in Midland, and you look down upon all these dahlias. It's, it's really a, and it's an experience that uh, you won't find in most gardens. We also have color in your garden when no, all the other flowers are gone. So that's the other advantage to it too. Our hill looks the best from September uh, and uh, October up to the first frost. I have four sculptures on the hill that represent the four stages of life. And uh, age 20, which is the bud stage, age 40, full bloom, and then uh, age 60, which is the um, going to seed, and age 80 is the wilt. I've always been interested in flowers all my life. Uh, most of my artwork is based shapes and forms are based on flowers. They're just visually amazing to me. Life can get so predictable and I enjoy doing things that uh, uh, are a surprise or a novelty to, to the everyday boring, I shouldn't say boring, but to routine, let's put it that way. I'm kind of an anti-routine person. <laughs>